Pan Am, you're making a mistake. Another you're one. serious right now? Those devils wanted to know our location. If we drive to camp now, we'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. And the scent of blood? What? We got more chomping at our tail. Fuck! We need to shake him! That's one way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it! Cut off that tail! Get ready! Be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! Ah. Uh, I need to catch my breath. Uh, uh, just in time for dinner. I'm not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The angle's left in a hurry. Hey! It worked! We have lights! Damn. It's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this job. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? Go on, get off your feet. It could be ours. No, no lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, off-loading points. They knew what state we're in. <sighs> it's not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Don't be mad, but I think Saul could be right. What? Why? You know how things work in Night City. You got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. If you keep getting jumped, you find some stronger Chumbas. You're talking about gangs. The principles are the same out here. You ought to remember that. Hear that, Pan Am? 
That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking wind. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Well, what was that about? Probably the meds talking. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. And? Think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? A fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, man. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. It's lucky we found this farm. I just hope the power holds till morning. How's your whiskey, man? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? Then what did you have in mind? <sighs> I think I'm ready to turn in. Yeah, it's been a long day. We deserve a good, long sleep. And B, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? No. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a way. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Look who's alive. Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Oh, wait, hang on. I thought you were headed back to the Alicaldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, both of you spewed some drivel. But I do have to grant him one thing. The Wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alda Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. I'm glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. 